look for more signs from the universe because I really just want to go on a walk and I want to record a video today. So that's what we're going to be doing. And I'm going to change real fast because I don't really like this outfit. Like, look what's going on. Like, I don't really know how to wear this shirt. I don't usually wear red. Um, the coat's fine, but like, I don't know. I mean, it's okay, but I, I, I like the pants, but I just, I need a wig on. I think that's what it is. So I'll be right back. Okay, YouTube, so I'm back, and I don't really know how I feel about this wig. I just, I got it for 40 bucks. It's synthetic. I mean, it looks pretty much like real hair. It just doesn't have clips, and it doesn't have dark roots, and it just makes me feel really weird that it doesn't have dark roots. But, um, but yeah, uh, I don't know if that made it look any better or not, but it might have. I don't know. So, now we're going to go on a walk because, you know, what better you know thing to do with my time off from work then go on a walk you know so we're gonna go on a walk and listen to music and see if we find any signs from the universe I'm gonna be keeping track of my thoughts because thoughts when you manifest signs are very important and I noticed this when I went on walks because I always get signs on walks so I really just want to pay attention to my thought process and I want to pay attention to you know what's going on in my head and then we're gonna see what manifests because I just want to see what I'm thinking about so everyone please come with me on my walk and let's see if we can manifest some signs from the universe but um we're not specifically looking for anything we're just gonna be thinking and walking around and that's how it usually goes you don't usually like see you know signs and like you know expect them. I mean sometimes that happens but a lot of the time it's just really random. So that's what that is. And yeah I got my dog. China. Ooh China. I haven't taken her for a walk in like a while. It's been a while. But um yeah we're taking her for a walk and then we're gonna see if we can set, find some signs from the universe. I don't know why, but I just cannot get used to this wig. Like, I literally just look at it and I'm like, what the fuck? Like, what, what is going on here? So like I said, we're not really looking for anything. We're just kind of like scoping the area for things like the ground. Sometimes you find money, like in synchronistic events. It's very strange. Like uh, my first day at my job at McDonald's, um, I used to have my first day like when I was 18 and I found a dollar on my first day on my walk there and that happened again when I got hired again three years later. So that's, that's what that is. I don't know what it means, but it's a free dollar. <laughs> it's like it's a free dollar, so why should I care? I don't know. Why should I care? Look at all these pretty lights. Like, I'm so happy. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. I'm gonna show you this one over here. That's just so pretty, like literally, like, I don't know why that looks so beautiful, but it really does. So beautiful. Right, China? Isn't, th aren't the lights beautiful? She knows I'm talking to her. She turned around, she's like, oh, 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 oh. So I'm not gonna lie, sometimes a sign can be as simple as a sound. So like a, a car squealing when you think about your ex-boyfriend who used to abuse you and all of a sudden you hear a car crash. Stuff like that, that's a signal. Like the universe sends you signals. Um, like that's obviously a bad event and what you're thinking about is probably something that pertains to a bad event. Like that can happen sometimes. And like that's happened to me um, a plethora of times. So many in fact that it's just insane. So, you know, um, and I'm gonna tell you guys about the time where I went for a walk with my dogs And I was just thinking that day that my dogs were sick and that if I didn't get them spring water that they would like Get more sick and then all of a sudden after I started thinking that I literally saw a jug on the side of the uh, Road that said spring water. I was like whoa Cuz that happened when I was like 19 18. I think I was 18 but now I'm 23, so that was years ago, but that happened, and 
just stuff like that. Like when I thought I was, um, I don't know, I thought about my ex and then all of a sudden I saw his like, um, the first three letters of his initial on the sidewalk. It was just super weird, stuff like that. And like that's happened with like celebrities too. When I was listening to their music, like I started hearing things and like, you know, seeing stuff that was pertaining to what they were singing about. Tell you what's going on in your life. Like, uh, it's really weird and crazy. Literally, that's how it is sometimes. Sometimes you literally just like, I don't know, you know? It's just really weird. And signs are weird. Like, they're weird. They're a weird phenomena. Like, it's not gonna feel normal when you get a sign. It's just gonna be like, whoa, what the fuck? Like, what the fuck is that? Like, <laughs> I've gotten so many, like I have so many events that have happened to me on walks that it's literally insane. Sorry I have hiccups, but like literally, like I have so many stories, like I don't know, but those were some of the significant ones and like I was listening to like a Diane word and like all of a sudden, like they were talking about like manifesting and stuff. Like, I manifested the first time I ejaculated. You know that song? Like, I manifest faster than the first time I ejaculated. You know that song? Like, and then, like, they talked about getting free stuff. And then all of a sudden, I see a fucking package of free shorts on the side of the road that were my size, size medium, spandex Nike shorts. I was like, what the fuck? Because I was literally listening to that song where they were talking about manifesting free stuff and stuff like that. I, I don't want to tell you guys the big one because I don't want you to think I'm crazy. So like I was thinking about like, I don't know. Okay, so this one was with Billie Eilish. Like it was like, I was thinking about her and I was listening to her music and then like all of a sudden I saw like this motorcycle with um, bright ass green lights and I was like holy fuck that's so weird because in this town there's nothing like that you never see that so I was just like huh that's so weird and then I was just joking around and I was like yeah well if Billie Eilish is my soulmate I'll see um this guy named Moises on a bike because I knew this guy named Moises and then all of a sudden like he shows up on his bike and I'm like what the fuck and then all of a sudden and then I'm like, okay, well, that was weird. So then I was like, okay, well, oh yeah, well, if she's my soulmate, like, um, I was joking around, but like, I was like, well, if she's my soulmate, uh, I'm gonna see a motorcycle with pink lights. And then like, I was, but it was like this, like I heard motorcycles coming up behind me and I was like, well, if the motorcycles are gonna have pink lights, cause you never see that here. I was like, if they have pink lights, uh, then she's my soulmate. And then literally I saw a motorcycle. The next motorcycle was fucking pink lights. I was like, what the fuck? But like, it was due to my state of mind and stuff like that. Like just weird stuff has happened. Like I'm telling you guys this because that's just really weird. Like, you know, like there were so many synchronicities that night. And then like I, after that happened, I was like, okay, well, I need a ride home because it's cold and then all of a sudden my ex shows up in his car and gives me a ride home and stuff like that like that that's all what happened that night and that's just super crazy and then like the first time I um my first soulmate that I had his name was Elijah well actually my my first soulmate was technically um Rennell because when I was younger I was 14 and I was like well, I'm gonna lose my virginity to um, either an Asian guy or a guy with green eyes. And then he ended up having green eyes, the first guy I ever had sex with. So there's that. And then I was like, and then I remember wishing for a guy with long blonde hair with um, blue eyes. And I was like, he's gonna treat me like a princess and he's gonna be so hot. And then the next guy I got, his name was Elijah. And he was exactly like that. And I had a lot of synchronicities with him. like. When um, when we first met, like we started talking to each other on Facebook, and then like I went for a walk because something told me to go for a walk, and like literally, I've never seen this guy in my whole fucking life. But like when I went outside, like right when I went outside, I saw him on his bike, and I was like, 
what the fuck? <laughs> like, I just started talking to you on Facebook. And he thought it was so weird, too, because he messaged me about it. He was like, did I just see you walking your pug? I was like, yeah. And he's like, oh, my God, that's so weird. I've never seen you before in my life. And I was like, yeah, I know. That's so weird. And, like, stuff like that is just really weird. And I'm not saying that, like, they're my soulmates or whatever, but I'm definitely saying that your state of mind and what you're thinking about and your imagination really has a lot to do with the things around you and you know your thoughts um, can be magical I think and I really just think that you know it's just a lot to do with like your head in in the moment stuff like that Um, because that stuff happened to me and I just thought it was super weird you know it's just super weird to see that happen and like you know it's just like that kind of stuff doesn't happen like it really doesn't like who the fuck like that's like a fucking movie or like a story or something like god's creating this story and then like this story is like the um words are in my head and i have to believe the words for the story to appear in reality stuff like that like or a movie like it feels like a movie you know and it really does and i'm just telling you guys this because I just thought it was so weird, and it really was weird, Um, but like, I can't wait to see more synchronicities. Um, Synchronicities are just so cool and magical, because it's like, yeah, I'm one with nature, and I'm one with what's around me, you know? It's really awakening, it awakens you to know that, hey, um, you're one with what's around you, you know? And it's not just you alone in your body it's you're like you and your you're everything around you like you know what I mean like you're just like everything around you I don't know <laughs> you know I know that's so weird but like literally I don't know that's really how it felt it felt like I was my surroundings because of the synchronicities that were happening and stuff like that it's like just stuff like that happens and I'm like wow that's just fucking crazy Cause like you never see anything like that happening like ever and it's just so weird but like i can't wait to see more synchronicities because i don't know i just think they're so cool and magical and i think that they mean that you're on like the right path or whatever or they can mean you're on the wrong path or it could be like giving you directions or something kind of like a compass i mean your emotions are like a compass but it's like different when it's synchronistic because it's like, hey, it's like telling you something. Oh my God, okay, hold on, I'm gonna show you this. Okay, so I said it was telling you something and then I see a Sharpie and this kind of reminds me of like writing a story, like it's telling you something, you know what I mean? That's what that reminds me of. Now I hope that makes sense, like I hope I don't just sound like a kook But, like, stuff like that happens. Like, I'll just see stuff like that. And then, like, it'll, like, build up. Or, like, my thoughts will change. And, like, I'll start seeing more and more. Like, that happens. And, like, sometimes I don't see any. But it's okay because I think it really has a lot to do with your mind. I'm going to tell you guys something. Um, When I was with my abusive ex, like, I was on my way to his house. And all of a sudden, like, I was thinking about how he was going to be so mad that I was going to go over to his house. But all of a sudden, sorry, I just thought, I just heard something really weird. Well, anyway, um, all of a sudden I saw um, a lighter with uh, a fucking fuck you hand on my way to his house when I was thinking about how mad he was going to be. That was a signal. That was telling me, yeah, he's going to be mad, you know? He's going to be mad. He's going to be like, fuck you. Get out of my life. And, you know, that was pretty true. He was mad, but he's always mad. So, you know, that's why nobody likes him. So, yeah. Um, but anyway, that's really, that's really it. So that Sharpie just reminded me of, like, writing your own story and stuff like that because that's kind of what you do like in your head you kind of like write the story in every moment because you're like oh yeah well this girl thinks I'm ugly or this girl's a bitch or you know that guy doesn't like me or you know that girl um 
she thinks I gay. Stuff like that. Like you could just like make assumptions and like the assumptions will be real depending on what you're thinking about. And I just think that that's so weird. That literally is just so weird that these things happen. And that reminds me of the Scarab story, you know, that famous, I think it was Carl Jung or something like that. Some weird Asian guy. He had like this lady and then she got a scarab as a sign. And it's just so weird. You know, that stuff happens to me all the time. But it happens to everyone all the time. And it's not like, you know, it's not like abnormal or unnatural. It's just something that happens in nature. And I think it's, you know, God giving you a sign or a signal. I think that's literally what it is. Because we're just like these tiny little creatures, you know, living in this little rock in the middle of the universe. It's just so weird. And I don't know, that's literally it. Sorry, there was people and I didn't want to feel weird. But um, there's just so many weird things that happen in this world. And like a lot of it could probably be scientifically explained. But I'm not a scientist, I'm just like a metaphysicist, okay? Just a philosopher. And this weird world we live in, you know? And I don't know, everything is so weird. And just so magical. Emotions are magical, you know? Um, every moment is so magical and I really feel this way. Like even at work when I'm working at McDonald's, I'm like, wow, I'm really living. Like I'm really here. And a lot of the time I think like this, I think, can I really die if I'm alive in this moment right now? You know, if I die, that would mean that um, nothing would be there, you know? But I'm here now. Would that mean that in, if, if I died in the future and I forgot everything, that means that I wouldn't be alive right now? Does that mean I'm dead already? You know? I mean, I could be, you know? We could be in the afterlife, who knows? You know, we could just be energy, you know? We, we could just be metaphysical. And maybe that's one of the things that science doesn't know how to explain because we're all technically, I think we're made out of dark energy or something like that, which doesn't like physically exist, sorta. Something like that, I don't know. I'm not very smart. But it's just stuff like that. Um, but yeah, don't take my word for that. Just look it up yourself because I really, just think things and they're probably not true sometimes but sometimes they are and I know that for a fact because I'm doing research right now that's what we're doing we're researching um, and I'm taking you on my research journey so this is what we're doing I'm not really paying attention and thinking right now which is probably why I'm not getting you know signs because I did get one in that one video where the universe said boo I was like, ah, that was just so weird, because it wasn't Halloween, and you know, stuff like that, I don't know, it was just weird, but um, a lot of the time, you, you just see these things, and then you're like, wow, that that's weird, even if other people don't think it's weird, it is, so like, I'm going to tell you guys this thing that happened to me uh, recently, well, not recently, but it was like, five months ago. So I was um, working at like Yamato and like literally um, I drew this guy at Wendy's like the day before and I told myself that like um, I told myself that he would like I would get a sign from the universe. I went to Wendy's and I got my sandwich okay and then that was the first time I've been to Wendy's in like two years since I've worked at Wendy's. Um, Cause I had like this crush on this guy, um, but he was he was just cute. And then I drew him and told myself I would get a sign from the universe the next day. So I went to Wendy's um, and that was the only day I went to Wendy's. And like literally I go to Yamato and I work and then I get a text. I get a text and it's from this girl. And she said that she saw my number 
in the Wendy's bathroom. The same day I went to Wendy's. You know, the day after I said I'd get a sign from the universe, and I did. I just told myself, yeah, I'm gonna get a sign. I didn't really believe it. I just said, yep, yeah, that's what's gonna happen. And then that's what happened. Like, I didn't really have to believe it. I just kind of just said it. I said it out loud. That's actually happened to me a lot. Um, I've said things out loud and then they ended up happening. But like, literally, uh, I went to Wendy's and my number wasn't there. My number wasn't there. So I think it was my ex's girlfriend's friend um, because she's been stalking me for years and she won't stop. So, yeah, I don't know why. Like, I'm just done. Like, I don't talk to her, I don't, like, I don't do anything. Like, I don't know why she's still after me. That doesn't make any fucking sense. Like, literally. But, um, yeah, it's just really weird. But, um, that's what happened to me. And, like, I was literally like, what the fuck? Like, how's that gonna happen? That just doesn't make any sense. Cause, like, it was literally the day right after I said it. And, like, I did not see the number on the fucking Wendy's bathroom. So apparently that was like my stalker or something. Like, I don't know. It was just really weird. Um, I said it out loud and, um, yeah. Um, here's another event where I had something like that happen. Um, so I was in my room and I go, I'm gonna see my soulmate tomorrow. I'm gonna see my soulmate tomorrow. And I go, I don't know who it is, but I'm gonna see him or her. And then literally the next day, right when I get to work, I see my ex in the drive-thru. Right when I get to work. I don't know if that's perfect timing. I don't know if that's my soulmate. I don't know what that is. That's the same guy that I had all those weird synchronicities with, the bike guy. I don't know. But that's what literally happened. Um, yeah. So, that's, that's it. So that's my little story about my manifestations and let me know in the comments if you guys have had any like manifestations and stuff because like I don't know like if you have or not but like I sure have and I just thought it was really weird because like that's not normal like literally like that's not normal like you just say something and then it ends up happening the next day like the fuck Okay, so I'm gonna get a million dollars. <laughs> I'm gonna get a million dollars. Are you ready? I'm gonna get a million dollars tomorrow. Ah, oh. no, I, I mean, no, that's a joke. But like, literally, if I get a million dollars tomorrow, I'm gonna shit myself. Oh my god, I'd be like, guys, 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 what? I want the lottery. I want the lottery the day after I said it. No, but like, literally. I don't, I don't enter the lottery, so that's not possible. But, um, I'm done with my walk. So, I just thought this was a good video. And when God speaks, you have to listen. Know that it's there and know that it's correct because it's literally, that's God. So everyone, have a good day, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.